Okay, here's what I was talking about with the uh, sink. So it's, it's like a little bit coming out. Let's see how it's spraying out right here. But when you turn it off, it quits. So there's something screwy going on. And the same thing when you turn on the hot. So there's something screwy going on with this area here. Um, let's check the uh, front. That one's getting hot. Front burner is not getting hot. Let's try the back. That one's getting hot. Let's try the back over here. That one's getting hot. fridge appears to be working and cold freezer is working and it's cold the floors feel okay I mean I'm I'm 235 pounds and they feel pretty solid um, you can see where they were using this which is a complete bonehead move but they were using a real oil burning lantern so uh, there's that it looks like maybe, I can't tell if that was a leak at one time or what it was, but I mean, it doesn't seem to have gotten any worse. I mean, it doesn't smell musty or moldy. I mean, all the roof feels, or you know, the ceiling feels pretty solid. Um, so this is the door I was telling you about. That's only uh, 27 inches. But what you can do is just knock this frame off and open it up and that makes it 30 inches which is the same width as the hallway this is you know bedroom number one so you'd have to uh cut this doorway out to make it wider so you might have to even move this electrical over a little bit more or you could even come up to the electrical uh switch and uh make it work Here's a closet for the first bedroom. Not too bad for mobile home. I mean, it really isn't that bad compared to some of the turd mobile homes that I've sold over the years. Um, I would say it used to have a different HVAC system because this is where the air handler used to be for the old HVAC, but now the return is down there and they've got it all taped up and it's a little janky, but it works. So this is the bathroom. So it, uh, well. And it fills up pretty quick. This is what I was telling you about with the uh, shower. So it is coming out up there, but it doesn't have a spout down here to shut it off so it doesn't come out down here um sink in here works Let's see i don't uh i don't see any kind of leaks or anything so that's good the toilets are already filled back up so it uh seems to be working pretty good Here's your second bedroom. That's the door going into the bathroom, but they've kind of closed it off. Um, and once again, this door was narrow, so you'll have to probably just get rid of this door altogether and cut it over to about right here to make it wide enough to make it how you want it. Um, the closet. Pretty decent closet once again for mobile home
So as you can see, the woods are pretty deep. Um, no kind of wetland or anything, but I'll show you what I was talking about with the gully. what this is So you can see there's like a little creek area over there that runs down through it. Looks like maybe a drain creek it does have a little bit of water going through it but not much and it runs down through there and as you can see it's a nice deep lot I couldn't find a key for the outbuilding. The agent said she wasn't sure where it was at. Doesn't look like there's a concrete floor or anything. So it's just dirt bottom floor. Looks like there's another creek over there. Or a gully or something. Here's our HVAC system, it's a gas pack. And as you can hear, it's running nice and cool. Here's that soffit I was telling you about. And it looks like maybe that limb is what knocked it loose. The wood looks a little rotted, but it didn't look too bad.
is under the house. I don't hear any water dripping, but you won't, will want to close off some of these areas. Keep critters from living under there. Like I've had all kinds of things I've ran into over the years, squirrels, raccoons, possum, you name it. Probably an old woman that lived here, or they taped all the windows closed, or you know, so that way they could probably save on their energy bills. But it does have two window system. I mean, they're essentially both like a storm window, so you could almost probably make this into your bedroom if you just wanted to have something to do quickly. So you could have somewhere to, uh, and they are going to clean all this stuff out. So you could do a little ramp right here. And have this as like a little bedroom until, you know, if you didn't want to do all this work to it straight out of the gate or want to do the minimal amount of work. I mean, it's a pretty good sized room. So there's a doorway there behind this trash bag. And there's a doorway there behind that trash bag. But obviously there's better ways of covering them up, you know, than how they've got it done. You might could even have a, a ramp coming in around back at one of those doorways. Because this would be a pretty... Uh, Pretty good size ramp here. I mean, you figure it'd probably have to start about right here, or do like a um, two-part with like a landing area in the middle, with the one around on this other door around here. You might not have to do such a such a big ramp. Actually, they already have a ramp there. Problem solved. So you could park your truck back here and use that ramp. But, uh, hmm. I don't see a doorway around here. So maybe that door goes to another room. That maybe I missed. Let's go back in and check it out. There's a whole nother room in here that I missed last time. Floor feels a little bit weaker in here. There's a little electric jazzy. Um, and she said if there's anything you want that uh, they're negotiable on stuff. I'm jumping up and down on the test floor and I guess it shook that. I mean, you know, it's not going to fall in. It's just not the, I mean, it feels solid enough to where you can walk on it, obviously, and all that good stuff. Okay. So you could almost have your living room here, bedroom or another area there, and a bedroom there. Because the, the ramp 
is over here at this door that's covered with the plastic and then you could do a smaller ramp here so let me know if uh if there's any other questions or anything other than i'm already going to ask him about a survey and uh stuff like that but it does feel like the ac is working um so just let me know if you got any other questions thank you